Hello, I'm Bishop Garland Hunt, and this is the Power of Hope devotional. I love the power of hope because the power of hope gives you hope, and it also challenges you in how you live. So I dare you to listen to me on a, on a regular basis. I do. I dare you to listen to me. Of course, I'm pastoring here at the Father's House, 6060 Spalding, here in Peachtree Corners. So I'd love for you to come and visit me and uh, see the Word of God when I'm able to expand, because this is just really l less than five minutes that I'm, that I'm going to talk about. But let me talk to you about this now. Are you a fake Christian? Are you a fake Christian? Now, most people will answer that, absolutely not. That's nothing fake about me. Well, let me ask you a question then. Does, how, how do you honor the Lord in, in, in religion or through relationships? How do you honor the Lord through religion or through relationship? And actually, in Matthew chapter 6, the Lord gave three different examples of people that were fake Christians, people that tried to honor the Lord, but they did it in a way so people would think well of them, but it wasn't a situation where they were living out what they were saying or living out what they were doing. So they're fake Christians. <laughs> they are fake. That's right. You heard me right. So this is Matthew chapter 6. It says, watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose the reward from heaven. When you give to someone in need, do it, don't do it as a hypocrite. That's also a fake Christian is a hypocrite. A fake Christian is a hypocrite. And to do blowing trumpets in the synagogue and streets to call attention to the acts of charity. Why would you want to draw attention to the fact that you're giving to somebody? But you want credit. You want credit for what you're doing. Anytime you do something not for Christ, but you're doing it for the credit of others. And let me just be clear. Most Christians do it for earthly credit more so than Jesus credit. Because you don't want, you don't have to look for anybody to give you the products. And you don't have to applaud yourself. But you're able to do what you do in giving to others in secret. Another one is your prayer. It says, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray public in the street corners and in synagogues when everyone can see them. i tell you the truth. That's all the reward they ever get. Why? Because you want people to hear, hear, hear you praying. You, you have these great prayers that you pray in the synagogue or in the church, and you want somebody to hear you pray, but, but we all tell you, you're not, but you're not praying at home. You're not praying at home. Are you praying in secret? Are you crying out to God or do you cry out to God? Or even let's go one more further. Worship like you're worshiping God and you're not worshiping him at home. So you're just worshiping for other people. And guess what? That's fake Christianity. That's fake Christianity. And it says when you pray, don't babble on as people other religions do. They think their prayers are answered simply because of repeating words again and again. See, if you go repeating something you heard somebody else say, or you have your little, your little, little quaint phrases that you like to say, you know, in Jesus' name, in the blood of the Lamb, you know, uh, I, I, I accuse you, attack you, Satan. And, and you have all these little things that you want to say, but you don't have them out of relationship. You have them out of re repetition. Repetition will not give you salvation. Repetition is just religion rehearsed. It's rehearsed religion. So let me just be clear about it. Fake Christianity is praying something that you're not living. And then, then here, here's another one. It, it says, when you fast, you, you still with me? When you fast, don't make it obvious as the hypocrites do. For if they try to look miserable and disheveled so people will admire them for their passing. I'll tell you the truth. That is the only word they will ever get. So when you fast, and don't tell somebody, oh, I'm on a fast. I'm on a 40-day fast. I'm on a 30-day fast. I'm on a 21-day fast. I'm on a three-day fast. I'm about fasting for an hour. Whatever it is, man, yes, some people may notice it because they may notice that your eating habits have changed. But don't go and start telling the world I'm fasting so somebody can think that you're spiritual. See, that's what a fake Christian does. A fake Christian wants his rewards on the earth when the greatest rewards would be that which is in heaven. This is Bishop Garland Hunt. Don't be a fake Christian. This is the Power of Hope devotional. I'll talk to you next time.